Hey what's up guys, this is t here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. Now in today's video, I want to talk about another hero. It is going to be an epic hero, and it's Etro. Now, the reason I'm, I'm talking about Etro here is because uh, the timing lines up well because of a particular instance where I think he really shines. And this is one of those heroes that if you do have him, you probably won't really recognize his, um, his strength. So I'm going to talk about him, and hopefully you can use him to your advantage as well. So let's go ahead and talk about the heroes. We're going to go into Lexicon. It is one of the Dark followers, and he is in the Plague Doctor's family. As makes sense, because you can see from his death mask. All right, so we'll go take a look at Etro, and if we take a look at his ability, he sacrifices 30% of the ally's health with the highest attacks current HP. Okay, so 30% of the highest attacker's current HP. Uh, so it sounds bad because you're taking away some health from your hero. Uh, but the, the note here is that it sacrifices from the current HP. So that means he will never go down. The ally will never go down to below um, one health. So you can never kill your ally with this skill. So that's the very first thing to note. And so the only bad thing is your hero that uh, this is the skill is used on is going to lose some health. But um, what comes along with it is recovery uh, for four turns. So your, your hero will eventually heal up. And also there is increased attack and increased critical damage. This is the key right here. All right, the increased attack and increased critical damage. This is the key part that will allow your hero that is uh, primarily an attack hero deal even more damage. Okay. And the passive ability, Twist to Satisfaction, this one I don't think is as useful, to be honest, uh, because I don't usually use Etro for, you know, and depend on my allies from dying. I really use Etro for the special ability, which is really strong in certain situations. So let's take a look at the situation which I'm talking about, and that's going to be when you're up against a Corrupted Bastet, the Yellow Dragon. So you can see here, I'm able to deal almost 2.5 million damage in two keys, and this te the team I'm using is Streebok, Godora, Etro, Gorak, and Martin. All right. So Etro is at 5 stars, and he's not super leveled up either. Uh, I've built him up just so that in case he ever gets attacked, he can survive, but actually in this scenario, he could actually be at level 1, and completely un, uh, he could be completely um, unequipped, unleveled, and he still will be useful. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, uh, so Godora, I'll talk about real quick, is also a really good hero because what she does is she inflicts decreased defense and vulnerability, both of which debuffs that make your boss uh, take more damage. So you ha now you have a hero that makes your uh, enemy take more damage and you have Etro that makes your attackers deal more damage. It's a great combination. Etro and Gorak in here are best friends because of this uh, synergy. Gorak also has a special ability I've talked about in the past where the more health he loses, the more damage he deals. Okay, so sounds perfect, right? Let's go ahead and jump into a fight and um, we'll talk about how this works. I like to bring Skyron here for the uh, for the dragon to slow him down. And for the potions, I like to bring in a large, medium, and small mana potion, usually with a medium uh, health potion. Right now, I don't have a lot of uh, small, um, small mana potion. And since the boss is already dead, I'm going to save it and I'll take in a uh, Toxic Vial instead. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to play through this a little bit uh, just so you can see how it works, but I'm going to show you uh, what it's like for Gorak without the buff and Gorak with the buff and then Gorak with the buff and also the debuff, okay? Now, for the most part, I'm going to try and... Um, I'll try and not skip forward. I'll play through a little bit so you can see the uh, so you can see how it works out. But uh, I might also just skip ahead if it takes too long for me to set up the way I want it to. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to try and set myself up so that I can get my matches in, so that I can uh, get them all powered up as much as I could. And I think I could do that um, here. So one more uh, match, and I'll be able to get both Etro and also Gorak to be um, available. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Gorak's skills first. So you can see it's 19,000 as a critical damage uh, by himself, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're going to repeat this process and we're going to now uh, use Etro's ability when uh, Gorak can attack. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to just go ahead and use my potion so I can show you. 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and activate here. So you can see that Gorak loses some health, but he gains attack and also um, increased critical damage. So you can see now, if you take a look at his stats, his stats went through the roof for attack, and he's got a lot more critical damage. I already have him at pretty high, and this is just you know even more. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and not wait. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and use the uh, potions here so that we can show you Gorak's ability and we're going to go ahead and attack now. So you can see it went from 19,000 to 36,000. All right. And now let's see if we can get um, the ability from Godora. So the thing about Godora is that her, her ability is not 100%. There's a 52% chance because I try to level her up a little bit. There's a chance that nothing will happen. All right, and so we're gonna uh, we're gonna play on until I can get both um, vulnerability and also uh, decreased defense, and then we're going to show you the value again. All right, so now what I have is uh, Godora. I activate her skill, and she was able to land everything. So she got the uh, vulnerability. Okay, she got the vulnerability uh, in there. She's got the assassin's mark and also the decreased defense. Okay, so now the corrupted bastard will take 50% more damage, and 30, 50% more of the damage is going to go through, and you're going to uh, it's going to take 30% more damage from special ability. All right, so remember we did 19,000 uh, with Gorak at first, then we dealt 36 thousand because Gorak had less health at that point and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and further reduce his health okay with Etro's ability and Gorak now has uh, both increased attack and also increased uh, critical damage and if we go ahead and attack now 73,000 all right we effectively almost I think we more than doubled his damage without this all right so we went from 19,000 all the way up to 73,000 thousand damage let's take a look at the ganon because it's pretty satisfying to see when that lands okay so that's seventy six thousand now because his health has gone further down in fact i think uh his highest he can up, go up to seventy eight thousand uh damage and this is how you can easily get hundreds and hundreds of uh thousands of uh damage against bastards in fact i generally get more than a million just by going through this and if it was a um if I had the small uh, mana potion, I would normally do one big and one small until I go through all of them. And then I'll go through the medium potions and I can just, you know, focus on using the potions on Gorak and that's how I can deal a lot of damage. And so this is why uh, Etro in this particular case is an amazing hero as a support hero for Gorak or for any other hero of your choice, really, as long as the hero's attack ability says something that is deals damage based on percentage of attack okay that's where you're going to really uh, shine so it doesn't have to be gorak it can be anyone else because keep in mind your hero will not die from etro's ability it's just that gorak gets much more benefit because he does deal more damage when he loses health but this will apply to anybody else you can use any other hero and you're going to see a significant difference so i think that is uh, something um, that you should think about anyway so that's going to be it for me for today i just wanted to focus on this one particular case where etro really really shines and this this um this partnership between gorak and etro which i think you should all explore thanks for watching guys let me know what you think about this uh this tip on etro let me know what other heroes you like to see and i look forward to seeing the next episode all right take care guys bye now